Tonight and only on 13, we take you on a rare behind-the-scenes look at the Women's Gymnastics National Team Training Camp. The gymnastics company on the south side of Indianapolis is hosting the team's monthly camps as they lead up to the Olympics in July. Perhaps the bus parked outside this plain steel structure on the south side is the only clue that something big is happening inside. Gymnastics gold. USA's top talent, like Simone Biles, Grace McCallum, Riley McCusker, and Morgan Hurd, and many more now are hard at work. There are 27 gymnasts here. Four of them will secure a spot on the 2020 Summer Olympic team led by Simone Biles. And no doubt, she's feeling the pressure. It's not like leading it to 2016 where I didn't know what to expect. I know exactly what to expect. So. I have like a little bit more anxiety about it. Also here is Olympian Lori Hernandez. She's a two-time medalist who calls her late timing for a comeback uncommon, but possible. And aware that the timeline is, is last minute. It's also knowing that I had done gymnastics since I was five. When you dedicate so much time to something, it's okay to take a break from it. I'm doing it because I love it. I know that this is a really tough journey and I know what I'm getting myself into. Right now we're nearly six months out from opening ceremony and all this work is in progress, even as questions about the viability and future of USA Gymnastics remain. The governing body in bankruptcy. Legal stalemates persist in wake of the Larry Nassar crisis. What happens if it just kind of all falls apart and you're like, well, what, ha what would happen to all of us? Because like. It's really hard. We can't put our bodies on hold. This like, right now is our peak time. Changing the culture is Tom Forster's job. All right. That's coming. It was important that myself and our national staff really model uh, positivity and uh, enthusiasm and yet still have a high level of expectation for, you know, skills. As you can imagine, there's a lot of logistics to handle when you're hosting camp, and one of them is feeding the roughly 75 people. That's the athletes, their coaches, and the staff. And there's a commercial kitchen here at this gym. Barb is the chef. What are you making for lunch today? Today we're having P.F. Chang lettuce wraps. Which they eat right on site. USA Gymnastics signed a two-year lease with this gym with an option for a third year. When this first camp of 2020 ramps on Thursday, the athletes and the coaches are going to head back home. Between competitions, they work six days a week. Athletes rise to the level you expect of them. And monthly will bring their Tokyo Olympic dreams back to camp in Indiana. There's a very tight timeline. The Olympic trials are fe set for June in St. Louis, and then the top two finishers at that competition are guaranteed a spot on the women's team.